diatoms as the name says diatoms so it has got two kinds of like it's like a petri dish you know it has got two testa you know and uh, that is why the names coming from the diatom right so it belongs to the order bacillariophyceae right so bacillariophyceae is what the all the diatoms comes from and uh, that is uh, belongs to the heteroconta right two flagella of the unequal size that is why it's heteroconta and diatoms are one of the most exquisite uh, forms of living creatures on planet earth so you can see that it, it comes in various sizes and various shapes and various colors and the the beauty is uh, exaggerated by the intricate design of its theca you know so you can see that the design is really symmetrical mathematically symmetrical of course uh, look at that it looks like ashoka chakra isn't it so beautiful you know it's really symmetrical uh, you know the, the shapes of its theca is what it makes it to be super beautiful you know so it's it's really remarkable the, the arrangement of the theca and its mathematical symmetry is really mind-boggling and there are various kinds of diatoms and its beauty uh, easily it's it's the most beautiful creatures i can easily say uh, you know especially when it comes to the plants you know and the diatoms i told you it has it's something like a, a petri dish one is larger one is smaller this is a theca right and these are the, the tested creatures and uh, it has got the calcium carbonate in it and it's a siliceous it's, it has got silica right uh, silicate containing theca so the diatoms some of the binding features common across all kinds of diatoms are most of these diatoms are non-motile it cannot move in right and uh, yeah and they have siliceous cell wall uh, called frustule the cell wall of the diatom is known as frustule and it has it's usually it's basically hydrated silicon dioxide you know silicon dioxide with water so there are two kinds of diatoms based on the frustule shape one is called centric diatom the another is called pennate diatoms so this is called centric diatom which is uh, radially symmetrical while pennate diatom which is bilaterally symmetrical bilateral symmetry is like human being right we are also bilaterally symmetrical radial symmetry is something like starfish is that radially symmetrical so uh, recently discovered in the diatom the biochemistry of the diatom is the urea cycle so usually urea cycle is reserved for the higher animals right and and birds isn't it but it's found in diatoms so it could be surprising it's a pa it's a manifestation of the parallel evolution you know very exciting piece of information and diatoms have got chlorophyll a c beta carotene fucoxanthin diatoxanthin and diadinoxanthin you know so these are the some of the pigments present in the diatoms and diatoms have got large number of commercial applications including the water filter you know in the ro system household water purification system and also for industrial water purification system you need sand filter so if you look at that sand it's usually it's diatom diatomaceous earth and diatomaceous earth is also used as an abrasive for example sandpaper for you know making the surfaces very uh, polished right uh, carpenters use it quite often and also for getting uh, you know getting rid of the rust we use the sandpaper so usually the sand in the sandpaper is the diatomaceous earth you know so uh, how the diatom reproduce that is also quite exciting uh, you know uh, information so it's basically the new organism receives one of its two frustule I told it just like the petri dish you know and uh, there are two kinds of frustule the, the on the top as you can see the bigger one is called epitheca while the smaller one is called hypotheca right and it gets separated the bigger one epitheca and hypotheca get separated and both produce its complementary frustule so bigger one produce the smaller one while smaller one produce still smaller one you know so as you can see that the one which receives the epitheca uh, the daughter cell will become the same size but the one which gets hypotheca you see the complementary cell is inside already small uh, frustule right and that is why the one which is getting hypotheca the cell the daughter cell size become reduced 
so this is a vegetative reproduction so after many generation uh, you know the, the average population uh, cell size becomes smaller you know so it becomes smaller and smaller after each subsequent generation so that is going to be a problem in case of the the diatom and that is why diatoms need sexual reproduction the meiosis so uh, you know that actually brings back the size into the uh, you know the earliest stage because the in, in, in when when it becomes meiosis you know the size of the theca is determined by the uh, the gene uh, right the, the genome right so that is why the, the sexual reproduction is extremely important to bring back uh, uh, the cell size you know the original cell size in the population of the diatoms so there are two major kinds of diatom one is called centrales uh, which is radially symmetrical like this centrale uh, the central diatoms dominate in marine planktonic communities right these are the very very important planktons right that actually floats in it it, it cannot actively swim though right so it, it's a, it's only f floating uh, uh, algae right that is what the plankton is all about right on the sea surface so some examples of this uh, central diatoms include Nilocyra, cyclotella isthmia rutilaria and corythron all these are examples of the central diatoms uh, which are mostly marine coming to pennate diatom or pennales these are bilaterally symmetrical you can see the one line can uh, separate into two uh, you know mirror images of its body uh, and these are benthic marine and freshwater communities so in in ocean you can see this kind of pennate diatoms uh, on the seabed that is why it's benthic diatom right and the freshwater most of the freshwater diatoms are also pennate uh, you know the diatoms some examples uh, include pinularia Navicula, Fragilaria, Eunosia, all these are examples of this uh, pennate diatoms and I have already explained to you diatoms play a major role in uh, medical forensics uh, you know to see the cause of death by drowning so to, to make sure that the person died from the drowning not uh, that somebody killed the person and put the dead body into the body of the, uh, the lake or you know the river uh, you know just to give an alternative narrative uh, just to fool the forensics expert so you can do the testing of the lung on the post-mortem to make sure that it has got the you know the diatom uh, species in it so it, it plays a major role in medical forensics too so if you want to know more about the taxonomy of the diatom so I, I invite you to watch the video uh, by Karthik Bala he delivered in here in this university in one of the refresher program that is archived in the YouTube so check it out I link up that uh, video uh, you know in the show notes of this video please check it out